Donkey of the Day for Thursday, April 18th goes to a 61-year-old Florida man named Thomas Devaney Lane. Now listen, what does your Uncle Charlotte tell you all the time? The craziest people in America come from the Bronx and all of Florida. There is no debate about this. Now, once again, you have two types of people in Florida. The ones who don't think anybody from Florida is crazy at all and get offended when I say that. And then the ones who know Florida is crazy as hell and they just accept their fate. Uh, Stacy, who called here a couple weeks ago who wanted to kill me, he's one of the people who gets offended when I call Florida crazy. Remember, Stacy, He was hot. We ain't crazy in Florida, bro. You reporting that you see on the news that shit ain't right. Okay. All right, Stacey. I'm just out here reporting things that I see on the news, but they, they ain't right. Well, listen, Stacey, once again, there's more than enough evidence to prove that Florida is indeed crazy, okay? I come in here every day and get presented stories from the news that prove my point. And today is no different because Thomas Lane was arrested for disturbing the peace. Now, this is ironic, being that the whole state of Florida disturbs the peace of the rest of America. So if you are a Floridian in Florida and you get arrested for disturbing the peace, you must really be raising hell. Thomas Lane is a self-proclaimed saint. Now, what is a saint? A person acknowledged as holy or virtuous and typically regarded as being in heaven after death. That has nothing to do with anything that I'm about to say. So authorities received multiple calls about a man who was disturbing the peace at several businesses, screaming that he was indeed a saint and he had a whole army that was going to destroy Everyone. He actually told a 911 operator that any responding officers need to leave now or they will all be sorry they effed with the saint. And if you effed with the saint, my army will destroy the whole city. Now you wow. gotta take threats like this serious in 2019. A man says he has a whole army. All right, he may really have a whole army. And Thomas Lane really did have a whole army. Let's go to CBS 4 Miami for the report, please. Police say this Florida man warned them that his turtle army would destroy them. Mm. Officers in Brevard County say they received seven calls about a man disturbing the peace at three different locations. At one point, they say 61-year-old Thomas Devaney Lane walked into the police station, yelled at the dispatcher, and pounded on the walls and glass, according to the arrest report. He left, but then called the dispatcher from a nearby 7-Eleven and told them that they would be sorry they messed with, quote, the saint. When they came to pick him up, Lane reportedly refused refused to get out of the car, yelled obscenities, and told them his turtle army would destroy them, saying they would see what would happen in an hour. Lane is now facing multiple charges of breaching the peace, misusing 911, and resisting an officer. His turtle army. Sounds like a horror movie, like the mm -mm -mm. birds, but the turtle version. <sighs> Took them a whole hour. That's actually some fast turtles if they can get it done in an hour, but uh, Florida not playing, y'all, okay? Y'all worried about white militia groups when the real enemy is green militia groups led by white people, all right? Thomas Lane is no master splinter. He doesn't have a team of heroes in a half shell. Mm -mm. Nope. This ain't them. Nah, babe. No. Nope. Oh, it's turtle power, but ain't no Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael protecting the city from danger. He has a team of villains in a half shell that are here to bring danger to the city, okay? Thomas Lane wants all the smoke. What is America doing to protect us from these kind of domestic terrorists in the form of tortoises? All right, Tara has a name in America, ladies and gentlemen, and the name is Cecil the Turtle. Okay, don't let Cecil the Turtle fool you. If you don't think turtles can be a threat, <laughs> then play Super Mario Brothers. Get him some pizza. No, those are the good turtles. The good turtles like pizza. The bad turtles just want smoke. That's how they get fed. All right, uh, I got the mini Nintendo hooked up at the house right now. All right, all of y'all will take Thomas's threats more seriously if you go to war with the Cooper Troopers. All right, you want that smoke with Bowser and his gang of Cooper Troopers? Nah, you don't. All right, step on one of those turtles. They go into their shell for a little while, kick one, turn your back. They bump into a pipe, bounce back, and kill you. All right, now Thomas was arrested and charged with disturbing the peace, resisting arrest without violence, and misusing 911. He was released on bail, and when Thomas was asked to make a comment on threatening the city with Crush and Squirt from Finding Nemo, he said this. I like turtles. <laughs> please, please give Thomas Lane the sweet sounds and the Hamiltons, please. Oh, now you are the donkey mm. of the day. crazy in America, y'all. I'm telling I you. See. Green militias led by white people. That's not what we want.